Good morning. Um, it's Sunday. Uh, yesterday I had an amazing talk with a couple of my daughter's friends about their faith journey and millennials and, and just the, the struggle, I think, that so many millennials have walked away from their childhood faith. Um, and I think it has to do with, I was reading in, in 2 Timothy where it says, having a form of godliness but denying its power. Um, and both of these kids were real transparent with their struggle uh, as far as seeing, you know, going to church every Sunday and seeing, hearing what you should be doing, but then the lives of people around them look nothing to nothing like the one they say they follow. Um, and then also being transparent on the other end, saying, you know, when I got into high school, I I started doing certain things that I didn't want to be that type of person either. I didn't want to be a hypocrite, so I just stopped going to church because I was making kind of choices that were not right as far as I knew. And the desire to do something different and feeling like he needs to be led back into, they need to be led back into a, a life with God. But that's where the power, we settle for a form of godliness, so that means going to church on Sunday, hearing a message, feeling a little bit better about ourselves. It's not about our behavior at the core, and we focus so much on behavior, so we're instilling within the millennials. What a Christian is, is you don't drink, you don't cuss, you don't watch a rated R movie about, unless it's about the crucifixion of Christ. All these things, love waits, it's all this exterior behavior, but really what it's about is us being reconciled back to the loving relationship with God. And then in the process of that, we start changing. There's power in that. There's transparency in that. There's beauty in that. One of the most rapid growing churches, not only in numbers, but in, in depth of the people inside the church, Matt Chandler out of Texas, there's a premise, it's okay to not be okay, but God loves you too much to leave you there. Right? There's that. And he actually said in a message, he told his congregation, he said, look, if you're coming to church on Sunday, Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, and you're pretending to be somebody you're not, don't bother. Go get a ski boat. Go, go hiking. Do something else. It's a horrible hobby to not be transparent. In church, we're supposed to stir each other up in love and good works. But you can't do that. The depth of your relationships is the least in that, in their transparency, right? So that's as deep as the relationship's going to get. I know about this because my relationships were as shallow as a paper for a long time because I wasn't, I wasn't transparent with my own life. But the only way we grow, the only way become, we become more and more like him is in our transparency and our realness with one another. And then we can truly be loved by people. If we're putting out a facade, people don't really know who we are. That's where the Chris Rock piece that says, when people meet us, they don't meet us. They meet our representative, right? Let's get to a point inside church where you can be who you are. People will love you as you are. But it's okay to not be okay, but God loves you too much to leave you there. It's about us being transformed more into the image of God as we go. And then our lives, it's not a facade, right? It's a realness of life. Because what comes out of that life is you see this person that is able to love more because they're free from the bondage of self. They have peace, they have joy, they have contentment that comes from God. It's not us on our own trying to... To, to show ourselves approved, it's actually who we are. Because it's about us coming and submitting our life to God and then becoming more and more like Him in the process. Did His apostles get it all right? No, they were jacked up in the process. Jesus continued to love them and show them the way, right? And that's what this is about. It's not about perfection on behavior. It's about our hearts being changed and becoming more and more like the one we say we follow. That's why millennials have tossed Christianity aside, because they haven't seen the real thing. They've settled for a form of godliness, but denied the power of. It says also, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, right? Ungrateful, all that. It, that's the fruit of the life that's separated from God. 
right? So we can live a life centered in relating to God or still centered in self. Anyway, I pray that you have an amazing Sunday. Be transparent, be real, be loved. Find a church body that is is that, you know. Come to me all who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest. Rest for your soul. God bless y'all. Have a great Sunday.